Singapore says it's critical that the U.S. and China continue to engage the ASEAN region constructively, adding that it will be key to bringing about peace and growth. Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Kiet hopes that both sides will also work to resolve their differences for the sake of global stability. But if tensions continue to rise, ASEAN must work with all parties to emerge stronger. Chloe Chu with more. A rare face-off between the U.S. and China at this testy, high-level meeting in Alaska. But Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Kiet calls the dialogue a step in the right direction. He says it shows that the two powers know that they need to talk and work through their differences. While tensions could intensify for some time, I hope that eventually a framework for cooperation will be de developed even as both sides continue to compete, as major powers do. Fair, healthy competition can be positive if it spurs innovation to achieve better solutions for the many complex challenges that the world faces. Speaking to global leaders at an investment conference, Mr. Heng also called on the two superpowers to keep engaging ASEAN constructively for growth and stability in the region. Still, ASEAN must also decide its own fate to emerge stronger. For Southeast Asia, we must continue to work with all parties, not just the US and China, but with any country that wants to work with us. We must continue to work as one ASEAN and to advance our collective interests. It is not a question of choosing sides, but of retaining our ability to make choices for ourselves. This is what ASEAN centrality is about. But beyond geopolitics, he says Asia must band together more to seize opportunities. For instance, countries should ratify the RCEP mega trade deal quickly to send a strong signal that the region is open to free trade. They can work on new frontiers such as the digital economy and advanced manufacturing to give more jobs too. Countries should also stay open to investments from all countries, calling it not prudent to rely only on a single source. As for Singapore, it'll continue to be what he calls a gateway in Asia. We are a global Asia node, with a strong rule of law and international connectivity, a workforce that understands the culture and norms in the region, and business and research outfits that can provide insights into regional affairs. Mr. Heng also talked about how Singapore's innovation and sustainability efforts will be useful for overseas investors.